Reverend Tucker Carlson, tonight, for almost two years, the left has been resisting Donald Trump, yet he has stubbornly refused to stop being this country's democratically elected president, unable to topple him from power by impeachment, arrest, harassment, or any other means so far. The left has not given up. They've just become angrier, by this point totally distorted by their rage. So mad that the usual epithets have lost their power from overuse. Nobody calls Trump a sexist anymore or even a bigot. That is too kind. He's Mussolini, Stalin, Hitler, maybe all three of them combined, plus Jeffrey Dahmer and John Wayne Gacy. No, wait, that's not bad enough. He is a maniacal Roman emperor who murdered his own mother and burned his capital down. That sounds about right. Trump is literally Nero while uh, the West burns. He's not well. That's the bottom line, that the president of the United States is completely unhinged and getting worse by the day. The people we saw the other evening at that rally, if that's his base, it's deranged. What we are watching in the Trump presidency is worse than Watergate. Did you hear that? Worse than Watergate, says the man who hasn't worked since Watergate. Yes, it is that bad. The left wants Trump gone tonight, but for some unfathomable reason, he is still in the White House. You can imagine how frustrating that must be. So frustrating that progressives have shifted the focus of their anger from the president to the United States itself. Our country, they tell us, must be bulldozed to bedrock and rebuilt according to revolutionary principles approved by the undergraduate faculty at Oberlin College and, of course, by consensus on Twitter. Step one is inviting every poor person on planet Earth to move here tomorrow to go on federal benefits at your expense. Anything less than that is racism. Watch Angela Rye explain as much on CNN. But this procedure is absolutely based on bigotry and fear mongering. If you don't understand that your, your president announced his campaign by talking my, about building a wall to keep he's our president, your president Angela. keeping he's the, no, he's not mine, not United mine. I'll never, oh, not, I will never you, claim a bigot ever. I wish I could tell you where from Africa my ancestors came from, at least part of them, but I wouldn't know because the same bigots who are bringing, who are sending people back away from their children, are the ones who brought my ancestors here on well, the then, then where, Congratulations. I mean, if he's, if so if you listen carefully, you just learned that enforcing federal law is now exactly the same as slavery. That's what CNN is telling us. You may not believe that, but it is suddenly orthodoxy on the left. In New York State, for example, Zephyr Teachout promises that if elected attorney general in this fall's election, she will start throwing ICE agents in prison. ICE has to be abolished. And I say that as somebody who's running for one of the top law enforcement jobs in the country. And as attorney general, I will continue to speak out against ICE. I will prosecute ICE for their criminal acts. In other words, those who enforce the law are the real criminals, just like illegal aliens are the real Americans. And the citizens who work hard, get married and raise their own kids are the ones who should be ashamed of themselves. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. Orwell saw it, saw it all 70 years ago. Suddenly, we are living it in real time. Dennis Prager is a radio show host, the founder of Prager University. He also just wrote a column, The Greatest Hysteria in American History, about the Russia story. He joins us tonight. Dennis, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, so Boy, were, you, I guess were, it, you were very eloquent. I, got, I just got to tell you that, that you summarized what it is, the greatest hysteria in American history. But it's just, well, I guess what bothers me, it doesn't, it's never bothered me if people don't like a politician, any politician. I don't like a lot of right. politicians. Right. But when the rage distorts the judgment of people who are supposed to be making responsible policy and they wind up telling us that the people who enforce the law are the real criminals, that can hurt your country. Well, everything they're doing can hurt the country. I mean, calling the man uh, a Nazi and all his supporters are Nazis, uh, comparing the Helsinki conferences they did on MSNBC, for example, to Pearl Harbor and Kristallnacht. Kristallnacht was the opening of the Holocaust. As I wrote in my yeah. column, I, I think a lot of college-educated kids have no idea what the Holocaust or the Nazis were. So right now, I think for millions of young Americans, Nazi means a German Republican in the 1930s and 40s. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, exactly. the distortion. That's the evil that the left is perpetrating right now. And, and I might add, as a Jew, the silence of most Jewish uh, communal groups on the, the desecration and trivialization of the Holocaust uh, shows you how deep the roots of leftism are in, uh, in 
communal life, in uh, Jewish life, and uh, if for that matter, Protestant and Catholic life. Uh, it, it's, it's a very, very serious moment we're living in. As a literal person, I keep asking myself, how would I respond if I believed what they were saying? And I think people do believe right. what they're saying. So if you really thought yep. there was a Nazi in the White House whose immigration policy was designed to right. hurt people on the basis of skin color, what wouldn't you do if you really thought that? Right. Well, if you're consistent with your beliefs, I don't, I don't quite understand why you wouldn't try to murder the president and, for that matter, any Republican, uh, a Nazi... Uh, really, or at least be wounded, or at least be beaten, uh, you know, as Woody Allen has in one of his movies, you know, they said, well, we should take the Nazis to court, and so on. He said, no, actually, I think a baseball bat is far more effective. I, I think that that is yeah, what uh, exactly. we will see, and yeah, it's it, it, because it, that's what's logical. That's what you do to Nazis. I guess the thing that surprises me the most, having lived in Washington most of my life, is the silence from the responsible Democrats, and there are some, and I know them, actually. I don't think, for example, Chuck Schumer, much as I disagree with him, is, wants to destroy America or is mentally ill. Or I think he's right. probably appalled by a lot of this stuff. i got to believe he is, uh, but yeah. he's not saying it out loud. Right. Why is that? I don't think he's appalled, frankly. I think uh, that the belief is that anything that will work should be used. Also, this is really important because I write, I've devoted my life to moral thinking and moral philosophy that you don't consciously desire, I don't believe he consciously desires to destroy the United States, of course not, but, but that's irrelevant. It is what you do and not what you intend that morally counts. And what the Democrats are doing now, becoming a left-wing, no longer liberal party, listen, Alan Dershowitz, Lifelong liberal, major Hillary Clinton supporter, voted for Hillary Clinton, said right. to me, and people will see this in, 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 the, in the film uh, No Safe Spaces that Adam Carolla and I are making coming out next year. It's not a plug for it. I just want you to know where you can actually see it. He said, right. as a Jew and as an American, I far more fear the far left than I do the right. It's remarkable, Alan Dershowitz. And if you're, if you're over 30 yep. and you grew up watching Alan Dershowitz, it's, it's amazing we've gotten yes. to a place uh, where Well, we he's a liberal, him. not Dennis a leftist. Prager. And, and conservatives well, exactly have to right. make that point every day. Thanks. There are very few liberals left. I mean, That's anyway. right. Dennis Prager, That's thank the you. point. There are. You know who the liberals are? Us conservatives. Me, exactly. Thank yep. you. Chris Hahn is a radio show host, and speaking of Chuck Schumer, a former staffer for Senator Schumer, and he joins us tonight. Chris, thanks a lot for coming on. Anytime, Tucker, you know it. So, so people say all kinds of lunatic things on cable TV shows, happens on my show, I get it. The, the, I tend to yeah, kind of discount a lot of that stuff. Right, uh, for sure. What bothers me is when office holders <laughs> or people seeking to become office holders start parroting that same language. So. I'm just trying to figure out what's acceptable now on the Democratic mainstream of which you're a part. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and you just tell me honestly what you think, and it will be a marker for where we are, I think. Reasonable people talking to each other. A, yep. should we abolish ICE and begin criminal prosecution against ICE agents? <laughs> no, but we should re, uh, reapply some real rules to ICE. I don't like the way ICE is being managed right now by the current administration, but I don't believe we should do away with it. Maybe we okay. got to rebrand it at some point. Yeah, that sounds fine. I'm, o I'm always for making federal agencies better. Doesn't bother me. That's a totally different thing. There are anywhere between 15 million and 20 million people living here illegally, illegal aliens in the country. How many can we deport? You know, I think we should start by deporting criminals, people who are actually engaged in crimes other than crossing the border. What I don't like is what I'm hearing today about 11,000 spouses of military, active military families being deported by this administration under the zero tolerance policy. That alarms me. It should alarm you. It should alarm your viewers. We have men and women serving overseas in war zones and their spouses being kicked out of the country right now. And that is intolerable when you've got, to me. When you've got 20 million people, foreign nationals, living in your country illegally, Still, I don't think you can call it a zero tolerance policy. There's a lot of tolerance for illegal immigration. Um, it, how many biological genders are there? <laughs> there are two biological genders. See, I'm not sure you can be right, a Democrat. Do Americans, be allowed, 
Yeah, yeah no, I, look, be I think people should be allowed to identify with whatever they want to be. I agree. Right. I agree. And I think but, we should but, respect but, people's, people's decision to call themselves what they want. But there are two. Look, you want to be called, I'll call you whatever you want to be called. I completely agree. It's when you start telling me that science is false, as many Democrats are, that I start to get nervous. Do you think Americans have a constitutional right to own a firearm? Yeah, I think they do have a constitutional right to own a firearm, but I think that there should be reasonable restrictions placed on that right, and I think there should be a background okay. check on every gun, and we should know where every gun is at all times. Do you think it is better for children to grow up with a biological mother and father than not to? I mean, not always, Tucker. I mean, I, I think it's it's a best no, case no, scenario. In, yeah, two, well, not always, but is them. it the best but, is it the I, best I, I case? That, is it I better is growing up with two parents should... better than being raised by a single mother in general? I, 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 look, I was raised by a Not mom, a tough question. right, and, and she was single for a while, and, and it happens in America, and I think we want to see people raised sure. by two of, loving of parents, whether it be two moms, too, at some time, or two dads at some time, but, uh, but, but, but is, I think it's better it, to have two people in a parenting. But is it better if they're the biological parents? Is that the best case scenario? Of course, there are lots of different ways that kids. I mean, I was raised in a non-traditional family. I get it. I'm not attacking anybody. But you is the what? ideal Tucker, the biological Tucker, parents? As long as it's a, as oh. long. I think they should be raised by oh, two people. We can't people say who that out loud anymore. Them. Okay. I, <laughs> okay. Just well, checking. I mean, just look, checking. Sometimes just, so, biological so we're, we're not saying Tucker, that. Tucker. Tucker. In a perfect. Is that the best? Is that the best case? World. Yeah, in a perfect that's all I'm asking. World, in a perfect world, you'll have two biological yeah. parents who want you, but we don't live in a perfect world. We live in a very imperfect okay, I'm not world. saying that we do. No, no, no. There but, are some but, but people, with that, but that there was are my some question. people. Right. Okay, there are some people. Look, there are all I, I, kinds look, of permutations. I'm just saying, what's the ideal? And I think many on the left are unwilling to say that the ideal is the ideal. I mean, if you could have I, anything, I you would have I, look, two biological parents you know who what? love their kids. Let me ask you this. No, you you agree? That's totally fine. I'm not going to hassle you on this. Oh, you're going to get attacked. I think if you have two parents who love their that, kids, that's great. If there, are two, if there are two, if there are two uh, loving uh, men who are in a committed relationship raising a kid, I think that's a great oh, thing. Okay. And if there are two loving women, oh, I'm not attacking anybody. I just, I just want to know what the idea we was. Be, we but you can't say that because you're afraid of getting attacked. I know that there are a lot of people on the right that are against that, but you know what is. I'm not. I'm not saying that. But I'm not making that. Hold on. I'm not making that case. I just want to know what the ideal is. And last question: Is abortion for the purposes of sex selection, which is very common around the world, is that immoral? to abort a child because you don't like the gender. It's almost always girls. Is that okay? Planned Parenthood supports it. Do you? I, I don't, Is there a moral I, problem look, with that? I don't like to, I, I don't like to cast moral Simple judgment question. on anyone for any reason. On sex but selection, abortion? You're not going to judge that? Do, but I, 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 Why? I don't believe, I, look, my Bible tells me judge not, least you yourself be judged. So I don't judge I'm, I'm not asking you to judge anybody. I'm, I don't, I'm not asking you to judge anybody. Personal choices. Now, that is not oh, okay. something I think should be, that is really? appropriate, but I don't think the state should have a role in that kind of thing. Okay, but I you don't think, think it's appropriate. Boy, I, think you're way, at all, I, I think you're way too right wing for the Democratic Party. Uh, so good luck on Twitter. I, I think so. <laughs> I think great. so. But but I was <laughs> watching. I was watching your last uh -huh. segment. <laughs> all right, thanks. Uh huh. All right. I'm sorry. We're out of time. Thank you. You you are one of the last reasonable Democrats we just discovered. Well, a new.